Welcome back. Today we are going to calculate the pharmacokinetic parameters for a two compartment model. Okay, here is the data which we have. So we are going to use this data to find out all the parameters for a two compartment model. Alright, so the first thing, you know, when we have data, so we have to find out the slope in the two compartment model, right? So let me quickly draw a two compartment model here. Okay, so for an IV bolus, a two compartment model will be like this. We use this phase, this elimination phase, which is a beta phase. Okay, so we find out the slope of this beta phase, that is uh, beta. Okay, and using that information, you extrapolate this line and this intercept gives the value of B right and after that we are going to subtract these points which are green in color can you see that these points from this the observed points so the observed is red here and the extrapolated is green so we stop subtract and then we plot these subtracted points are called the residual lines so I'm pointing them in blue color okay so then once you find out the residual there is difference between this red line and the green line which is the extrapolated minus the absurd so you will plot a line of the residual so this is the line of residual all right so this is the residual line and after plotting the residual line this gives the information about the distribution phase so this is distribution and this is the elimination phase and this slope gives us this slope this d distribution phase intercept gives us the value of a where a plus b value gives us information about concentration at time zero so the first step is calculating the slope for the beta phase right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use two values here okay so here I'm going to use time 0.88 hours and time 0.816 hours. I'm going to use these two points. And we do remember the equation for a slope calculation. It's y2 minus y1 or x2 minus x1, right? Okay. As you are aware, since it's a natural log, the concentration is a natural log. So what we're going to do is we are going to convert this equation like this. M is equal to ln C2 or C1 divided by T2 minus T1, right? So let's do the calculations now. It's natural log of 0.26 divided by 1.4 or 16, that is time 16 minus 8. Okay, so if you solve this, the slope is 0 0.21 okay I hope you know the units our inverse right okay so now that we know we are aware of uh, the slope for the beta phase so what is the next thing we are we have to find out the B the value of the intercept of the beta phase okay so what is the equation we are going to use the same equation what we have uh, that, that we used for slope okay but let me write this slope in a uh, let me write this equation in a different way that is c is equal to c naught times e to the power of minus kt this is the equation for one compartment model right because it's a mon exponential equation but for for the bi exponential equation it's distribution phase and elimination phase is there right so the equation we are going to write it as c is equal to b times e to the power of minus beta t right now we calculated just now we calculated the slope which is nothing but the beta this is the slope we calculated this is beta right and we have the concentration time points at various time points we can take this the concentration time point of 12 and say 12 here okay so we will take this particular concentration at this particular time point then concentration is equal to 0 0.6 is equal to b times e to the power of minus 
0 0.21 times the time is 12 here times 12 okay so if you rewrite this equation b is equal to 0 0.6 divided by e to the power of minus 0 0.21 times 12 that is equal to 7.50 what are the units again? It's mg per liter. Take a look at the units over here. Here, mg per liter. Okay. So now that we calculated the B, that is the intercept of the beta phase, we have the value of beta. We have the value of B. And the next thing is what? We have to find out the extrapolated points. We have to extrapolate the beta phase and we have to find out these points which are proportional to the absorbed points over here so wherever so for example this is the absorbed point at 0 0.25 0 0.5 and 1 and 1.5 and 1.5 so corresponding to these points we are going to find out the extrapolated points let's do that so how do we do that it's the same equation guys we are going to use the same equation c is equal to b times e to the power of minus beta t but here this c is c extrapolated okay so what is b that is intercept is 7.5 times e to the power of minus beta that is what is the value of beta 0 0.21 the slope of the beta phase times time so at what time we're finding out the extrapolated points at 0 0.25, 0 0.5 to 1, 1.5. So at these time points, we're going to find out, even we can find out up till 2. So we're going to find out the extrapolated uh, points. So I'm going to uh, find out that. So concentration is equal to, concentration extrapolated is equal to 7.5. That is B, that is the intersect of the beta phase times e to the power of minus 0 0.21 that is a beta times t is the time the time is 0 0.25 okay so times 0 0.25 so the value for the c extrapolated at at time 0 0.25 hours is approximately 7.11 mg per liter CP extrapolated or CP late whatever we call it's one and the same I call it CP extrapolated you can call it CP late whatever it is this is how you find out the CP late or CP extrapolated 0 0.25 hours 0 0.5 hours 1 hour 1.5 hour and 2 hours or what you can do is you can just find out only two points either you can find 0 0.25 or 1 so you can just find out 0 0.25 and a 1 hour so that's what I did now just now so the calculated value for CP extrapolated or CP late E at time 0 0.25 is 7.11 so here CP late is 7.11 and the units are mg per liter this is CP late okay and at 1 hour the CP late is 0 6.07 alright so now if you subtract concentration from the CP rate you'll get a value of 14.39 so all I'm doing is I'm taking this value and subtracting from this okay so you'll get a CP residual this is called CP residual residual is nothing but the difference between the absurd this red line is absurd with the blue points minus the extrapolated the green line so the difference is called the residual cp minus cp late or extrapolated whatever you call is called cp residual so 21.5 minus 7.11 gives 14.39 mg per liter 10 minus 6.07 gives a value of approximately 9.25 mg per liter now using these two points what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope I'm going to find the slope slope of CP residual okay earlier here's a formula 
okay since it's a natural log we apply the natural log okay let's find out that so now we are trying to find a CP residual slope okay that slope is nothing but the alpha slope which is nothing but the distribution phase you're trying to find out the slope the distribution phase right all right so what are the values we have 14.39 and 9.25 so 14.39 and 9.25 at 0 0.25 hours okay and one hour right so now you can use the formula so ln of 14.39 so c1 or c2 or c2 or c1 whatever you want to do you can do but t2 here okay so if you apply this formula and use these points okay and use these points you'll get a slope value for the alpha phase and the value is approximately 1.73 our inverse has always the units remember don't forget the units so now what are the parameters that we found beta for the beta phase and B intercept and also we have alpha for the alpha phase and the next thing is we are going to find out A how we are going to find out A again the same formula you remember the formula for one compartment IV bolus C is equal to C naught into E to the power of minus KT but if it is a beta phase we have written C is equal to B CP is equal to B times E to the power of minus beta times t so for alpha phase what you're going to do is you're going to write the formula has cp residual is equal to a times e to the power of minus alpha t we have the information of about alpha and we have the residual values that is cpr we do have right using this equation what we're going to do is we are going to find out CP naught which is A okay already we found the CP naught for the late that is B we have the value already that is uh, uh, one uh, 7.50 so, okay here 7.50 so now we are going to find out CP naught for the alpha phase that is the A intercept for CP is naught okay so again so what is CPR you can take one of these values what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a value of 14.39 uh, here at 0 0.25 hours right 14.39 is equal to and a we have no idea that's what we're trying to find out a times e to the power of minus what is alpha just now we figured out the alpha that is approximately 1.73 right 1.73 times what is the time point that is 0 0.25 hours right 0 0.25 here 0 0.25 so 1.73 times 0 0.25 if you solve it a is equal to 14.39 divided by e to the power of minus 1.73 times 0 0.25 if you solve this equation the value is approximately 22.18 22.18 mg per liter right so now we have a we have alpha we have b and we have beta right so how do you calculate cp naught the actual cp naught that means the cp not at time zero till now we we figured out the cp naught for the alpha phase beta phase but this at this time point we're going to find out the cp naught at time zero the actual observation okay so cp naught is equal to a plus b the intercept of a plus b gives us the value of cp naught so a is equal to 22.18 mg per liter and what is b so here we found the value of B that is 7.50 right 7.50 so if you add them 29.68 mg per liter is a plasma concentration at time zero 
okay time zero hour all right i'm going to stop it here